Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, COVID concerns ground the land flyway to highway event, and Blue Origin's mannequin Skywalker flies again, and FAA adopts stricter, unruly passenger policy. Happy Friday, everybody. We survived the work week. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode with the latest news that's happening in the aviation community. So let's go ahead and start with, if you were looking forward to the DeLand Flyway to Highway event, well, that's officially canceled. The ANN crew received official confirmation that COVID-19 concerns have again halted a sport aviation event. And let's face it, this was something many of us were looking forward to. The January 30th DeLand Flyway to Highway event under the direction of the folks who conduct the annual DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase, which was designed to be an interim event to help the industry gather a bit before their main event next November, but it's now officially off. The decision makers have watched the news, seen the infection rate going up even with a vaccine, and decided now is not the time for such an event. While well, we get it, safety is their main priority, we appreciate it also, but we are still bummed. If you were planning on going to DeLand's Flyway to Highway event, which was scheduled for January 30th, well now you have the day off. After the break, Alaska Airlines stays loyal to 737 MAX. We'll tell you how many planes they're planning on receiving after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Aviation's number one safety equipment manufacturer. New ELTs and safety products that activate life-saving rescues across the world. ELTs and safety products for every type of aircraft. General aviation, business jet, rotorcraft, commercial aircraft. Easy installation, affordable pricing, safety and reliability. Visit www.artex.com to view our selection of ELTs and safety products today. Artex, your best last chance. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Alaska Airlines stays loyal to 737 MAX. Alaska Airlines has completed an agreement in principle with Boeing to restructure the airline's order to receive a total of 68 Boeing 737-9 MAX aircraft with options for an additional 52 planes. Alaska is scheduled to receive 13 planes this year, 30 planes next year, 13 planes in 2023 and 12 in 2024. The delivery schedule will largely replace Alaska's Airbus fleet. This restructured agreement with Boeing incorporates Alaska's announcement last month to lease 13 737-9 aircraft. Thank goodness the Super Bowl is still on, but if you want to fly around, you better check with the FAA. General aviation pilots who want to fly around Tampa, Florida from February 3rd until the 9th of this year will need to check out the FAA's Notice to Airmen, or NOTAM, for air traffic procedures for the area. Super Bowl 55 is Sunday, February 7th at Raymond James Stadium. Game time will be approximately at 6.30, and the FAA has published a webpage with information for the Tampa, Florida area, airspace, and airports. The agency will update the webpage as additional information becomes available. CDC expands negative COVID-19 test requirements. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention 
is expanding the requirement for a negative COVID-19 test to all air passengers entering the United States. Testing before and after travel is a critical layer to slow the introduction and spread of COVID-19. Before departure to the United States, a required test combined with the CDC recommendations to get tested again three to five days after arrival and stay home for at least seven days post-travel will help slow the spread of COVID-19 within United States communities from travel-related infections. Atlas Air Worldwide snags the last four 747-8 freighters. Atlas Air Worldwide has agreed to purchase what will ultimately be the last four 747-8 freighters. The order enables Atlas Air to leverage the operational advantages of the 747-8 freighter to meet growing cargo demand around the globe with a maximum payload capacity of 137.7 metric tons. The 747-8 freighter allows customers to access 20% more payload capacity while using 16% less fuel compared to previous generation 747s. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Blue Origin's Mannequin Skywalker flies again. It was a beautiful thing to see. Blue Origin successfully completed its 14th mission to space and back on Thursday for the new Shepard program. On a gorgeous Thursday morning, the Blue Origin team conducted another test of the new Shepard Blue Origin system as they edge closer to the advent of manned flight operations, which may come this year. Mission NS-14 featured a crew capsule outfitted with astronaut experience upgrades for upcoming flights with passengers on board. Capsule upgrades include speakers in the cabin with a microphone and a push to talk button at each seat so astronauts can continuously talk to mission control. First flight of the crew alert system with a panel at each seat relaying important safety messages to passengers. Cushioned wall linings and sound suppression devices to reduce ambient noise inside the capsule. Environmental systems including a cooling system and humidity controls to regulate temperature and prevent capsule windows from fogging during flight, as well as carbon dioxide scrubbing. This flight continued to prove the robustness and stability of the new Shepard system and the BE-3PM liquid hydrogen liquid oxygen engine. Also on board were more than 50,000 postcards from Blue Origin's nonprofit Club for the Future. After these messages, because so many people like behaving badly, FAA adopts stricter, unruly passenger policy. Those details after the break. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. Because so many people don't know how to play nice or act like adults and decide to behave badly, FAA adopts stricter, unruly passenger policy. FAA Administrator Steve Dixon has signed an order directing a stricter legal enforcement policy against unruly airline passengers in the wake of recent troubling incidents. The FAA has seen a disturbing increase in incidents where airline passengers have disrupted flights 
with threatening or violent behavior. These incidents have stemmed both from passengers' refusals to wear masks and the recent violence at the U.S. Capitol. Flying is the safest mode of transportation, and I signed this order to keep it that way, said Administrator Dixon. Historically, the agency has addressed unruly passenger incidents using a variety of methods, ranging from warnings and counseling to, to civil penalties, effective immediately, however. The FAA will not address these cases with warnings or counseling. The agency will pursue legal enforcement, action against any passenger who assaults, threatens, intimidates, or interferes with airline crew members. This policy will be in effect through March 30th. Passengers who do interfere with, physically assault, or threaten to physically assault aircraft crew or anyone else on an aircraft face stiff penalties, including fines up to $35,000 and imprisonment. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We'll see you next week.